Hi YouTube fans, it is I, the Scottish Trekkie, coming live at you for another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection review and tonight, uh, uh, today I am going to be doing Star Trek The Official Starships Collection, the Space Dock issue and what I'll do is I'll just get into the uh, the magazine and after the magazine we'll get into the, sh uh, this, the, the model itself, the Space Dock so let's get into the uh, the the magazine so it was built 2250s type space station location earth orbit and the height is over three miles so what i'll do is i'll just do the contents and the specification so it shows you how to mount your space dock in the stand and another big thing as well i'd like to say as well is this wouldn't happen if it wasn't for the guys David and Sven, the Geekology boys, who made this happen. So a big shout out to them. Well done, guys. Well done. Um, that would never. That this would never be a reality without they two. Uh, um, with their campaign, we need a space dock, <laughs> and uh, we finally have it. So, big shout out to you guys. Well done. Big massive shout out. So let's get into the magazine, shall we? So. The specification is Space Dock, it's operated by Starfleet, class is Space Dock type and it's built 2250s, location Earth orbit and the height is over 3 miles. And at the bottom you have f image, images of the, of the Space Dock, so you have the top, the top of the Space Dock underneath and in here as well. And then we actually have a nice image of the space dock as well. Which I think is the same image from the front cover. Yes it is. So, a vast orbital platform visible from planet below. Space dock is the most impressive of the various starship facilities to circle in Earth. The various Starfleet facilities circling Earth is mushroom shaped. An upper section, which is an almost sheltered dock for space uh, starships up to the Excelsior class size, and at the centre of the giant space and extending far below at hundreds of decks compressing a whole versatile city, as well as secondary docking bays for smaller vessels such as the USS Enterprise NCC one seven zero one. During twenty two eighty five, it's a star. It's a successor ship. The USS Enterprise NCC one seven zero one Alpha launched from space. Uh, launched from the space the station the following year. And then we've got how to make a vintage port. So you've got sketch image of the how the station was going to start off looking, and also as well you've got NC seven zero one one S up here NC 7011S and then you've also got the the station from the motion picture as well with the Enterprise down here and uh, the office complex orbit and earth the Star Trek the motion picture and then you've got the dry dock down below and then you've also got in this constant painting space dock as echoes of a 20th century storyline down here, which is really cool. And then you've also got David Carson's con uh, David Carson's concept sketch for a uh, for an airport style lounge up here, which is really cool. And then you've got sketches of the Enterprise approaching the space dock entering and down here as well you've also got what it's looked like the Enterprise approaching inside uh, dozens of slender spotlights serve to anchor dock ships in another Carson's early sketches down here which is really cool I really do like these I really do like these because it shows you stuff like 
how they made it all, all and they come to how it is. That's really cool. So two study models of space dot built by Bill George, the top and above. So you've got these two here, that one and that one, by Bill George. And alongside the approved study model combining favourite elements from earlier versions. So that's the preferred one there. And then you've got earlier you've got the early, which is really cool. And then you've got the completed interior model in here, which is really cool. And then in a finished shot footage of the different skilled miniatures combining the light effects, you've got the Enterprise and the NX2000 Excelsior. And then you've got some more storyboards, Steel and Enterprise from Star Trek 3 The Search for Spock, which is really, really cool. It is a really good, it is really, really cool mag a, a magazine. And then you've got the, spa the, 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 the space shot itself from Star Trek 3, where Kirk's stealing the Enterprise, and you've got the uh, NX2000 chasing behind. And you've also got the shot where the Enterprise is coming in from after the fight with, uh, with Khan and they're all out. And I've also got over here the Excelsior's Hull there. And you've also got Grace Lee Whitley who played uh, Yeoman Rand in the original TV series. But she's a commander, she's, she's a commander now. Yeah, Starfleet Commander, Yeoman Rand. And then you have got shots from different parts of various movies. We see this uh, there. We see the Enterprise A in space dock, and leaving space dock. And you also have there as well. And you've also got the Enterprise D approaching the space dock, and the shot from Star Trek VI and Discovery Country down here. And that's the magazine Star Trek and uh, the star uh, the, the space dock top view but let's get into the model itself shall we and here it is space dock and all its glory we actually I actually have this in my hand awesome and it's also got a clear bit up here as well to light up. If you if you shine it, it might shine up this this station possibly. I've never tried it myself, but it's really really cool. And then you've got the wee antennas at the bottom and uh, antennas at the top. And they've got they've got the the door numbers. So you've got the big ones with the 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 ships go through. But I really do like it. I do. I really do. But this is my thought in the in the in the space dock. What do you guys think in the comments below? Um, please leave your comments, and I'll get back to you about it. Uh, but uh, for the now, one more last view of the ship at the space the space dock. So you see, like it's even got all the stuff down there down here. It's really got really good detail on it, on it it's got all the Aztec in it as well it's also got like all the wee like windows and all that stuff which are not misaligned as you can probably see here and here and this part here but guys yeah this is my thought this is my take on the space dock if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel and please hit the notification bell at the top and like, share and subscribe and please leave some comments and I'll get back to you. But I am the Scottish Trekkie, live long and prosper and I'll still catch you guys later in the next video. Bye for now.